Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today I will be having my first impressions and looks at this new Nintendo NX. Um, I've been looking forward to this console for a while because I'm a Nintendo fanboy. And it seems to be called the Nintendo Switch. Um, very interesting. So let's dive right in. Oh wow. Okay. That dog's pretty big. Oh my word. So it's like a tablet. Oh, well, I mean, that was what people said, so it's like leaks, I guess. That is a slick pad. Uh, oh, cartridge. Okay, so it's so it's like, so you can probably play some Pokemon games on it. If only if that was actually real life, where you could sit next to someone and actually, they'll actually have the thing. Oh, cheeky little stand right there. Oh, what's that game? Skyrim. And you can, yeah, that's Skyrim. Okay, so you got, so you can play long range controls. Very versatile console and a nice controller. The contro controller does look quite well used. Oh, so you can this is a two-player handheld. That is all. I like that. I like that. Controller does look a bit small though. Okay. Yeah. So they just oh four players. So if you have two, that that seems pretty sweet actually. The only problem is that complex games like Smash Bros may not be as easy to. Um, Play. So you may not be able to play four-player complex Smash Bros. Oh, that now that is what we want. Okay, I get that. I can pick that. So that's good because uh, um, you can add the, that controller to the handheld part, and that's what you want. You don't want those small little controllers. That's for like very simple games. But this is, and this seems like some eSport thing. I hope Nintendo wants to see what also the controller seems um, more in line with an Xbox controller or PlayStation controller. Going back to the good old uh, the analog stick seem to be like how they were in the GameCube. Nintendo Switch. Much so they're keeping to their deadline. That's very interesting. Um, overall I think that that looks like a pretty sweet console. Very interesting idea. Everybody kind of knew from the leaks that they were going to be, you know, different. Uh, it's going to be, you could, it's a handheld, a hybrid, and it seems to be like a little phone. Um, seems quite interesting, like a little tablet they can bring on, and that, see, it looked very slick. It doesn't look a bit too hunky like the DS, because the DS, I'm not sure, is, is very distinguishable, but this you can kind of just whip out, like, looks like a normal, pretty normal pad. And the trailer wasn't necessarily marketed towards any real like super demographic it wasn't like super childish or super really serious and grown up it was kind of kind of showed just young adults going around and having fun with this thing so I think that's a good way for Nintendo to go to try and just reach out because they definitely have a casual but they need to hook the the hardcore gamer but I, I like the idea how you can take the pad and then you can just play with friends so you can play full player only problem as I kind of saw a lot at this gym um, yeah, this basketball thing. Can they whip out their nice things? But the controllers are tiny. Like, I'm not sure how well you could really play with just like half a controller. Um, but that's. But I think it would be better because further on you can see um, when they're playing Splatoon on the floor, they have got themselves. I mean, they're they clearly making some plans. Kind of, so it seems like they're playing competitive, serious. Nintendo trying to bring in hardcore market good but that you can link your proper normal um, thing to the handheld part right and then that means that you could theoretically so that it, it you could play like proper smash pros on a handheld and that seems awesome mind you it does seem to suggest that it has to be cartridge based but then I don't think they'd be able to get breath of the wild on a cartridge so I'm not sure um, uh, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Maybe if they go big cartridges, but that's really almost taking a step back. So I wonder how they're going to do it. It's a very slick trailer. Very nice. Nintendo Switch. You can just switch in whenever you want. Versatility. Um, yeah, very, very fluid console, if you will. Um, it also, and if you have a look here, it has uh, start and minus buttons at the top. I don't know really that matters, but, um, but yeah, so you can kind of... Um, on each side, you've got yourself your A and B buttons, and it's kind of like reverse, so you can, yeah. So, 
you know, so the handled part does seem pretty nice because you're just looking in between you're like boom, it looks very high tech um i hope it's powerful now breath of the wild is a very big game um i i reckon from what the land looks like he was also playing skyrim but i'm not sure um so it seems to be powerful enough to maybe play big worlds um and i hope so because this console needs to be fairly powerful now Power doesn't mean everything, of course, but power limits what games, um, third-party games you may want, and Nintendo needs to improve on that. Also, it's only six months to market this thing before it launches. Um, I think they need to start now and start making it big. That was an awesome advert. If they like, they need Nintendo has money. They just need to advertise like crazy. Because if you have a look at that, everybody, honestly, if they get these third parties, who would want to have? Um, an Xbox or anything like that. I mean, of course, it's going to be fairly expensive, I reckon, so PC would still be very nice. But this, you can just bring to school or bring to work and you have. And, but it will only really work. I mean, you can show friends, but I'll play on the same thing. But I think the main experience is when you can bring your tablets together as a group and combine it to make a greater game. I mean, I'm also. I'm, I'm not. I'm not hyped because um, I wasn't expecting to be hyped. I'm not ready to get too excited because I don't want to be. Because this can go either way. But so I'm keeping my expectations low. But I think Nintendo's heading for a good direction. Nothing too gimmicky. I mean, it's at the core of the thing, but it's not gimmicky. It seems to work very well. Um, trailer did a very nice job, and it showed me enough stuff that I actually really enjoyed it. So um, yeah. I actually watch this trailer again. Yeah, so this box seems almost like a, a stereo. You can kind of like so there's like so so there's like almost five different controllers. So you can s sled into this. Um, you can play like just with the two little different small pieces. You got a big tablet. You got uh, a normal kind of console uh, handheld. But then you also got the two pieces slitting into a normal handheld console. So you've got many different types of. Um, things and that could bring up the price of the thing of the NX. So overall, I think it looks like a pretty sweet console. Um, yeah, and I hope that it does better than the Wii U. And so I will actually know people, uh, well, quite a few more people that actually own it. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you actually kind of didn't mind this bit of ramble. But that's just my first impressions for the NX. And for the, not the NX, the Nintendo Switch. And I'll see you guys next time on the Jerky Bacon Show. Goodbye.